Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall win, number 1013, and I am here for the first time in Mammoth Spring, Arkansas, which is on the Arkansas-Missouri border, pretty much almost the midpoint between Springfield, Missouri and Memphis, Tennessee. So, but I am here with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Brandon the Garbage Disposal Clark. Brandon, great to have you here. Are you excited? I'm very, very excited. <laughs> All right. He asked me to go to dinner and here I am. There we go. We are here at Shorty's Rib Shack. We are both hoping to complete. They're undefeated. They've had five attempts. It is Shorty's BA BBQ Sandwich Challenge, which of course stands for Big Ass Barbecue Sandwich Challenge. Now, the owners, we've got Shorty and then his wife, Jewel. They've been in business for eight years. They started as a food truck for three years, and they've been here in Mammoth Spring, Arkansas, at this location for five years. But nobody's been able to finish this thing. It's pretty much right at six pounds. I'm most excited, not just for the barbecue, but I love King's Hawaiian sweet bread. So we've got that as the bun, but we've got lots of meats here. The base is one and a half pounds of Shorty's barbecue pulled pork, and then we've got one full pound of their brisket. Some people in the crowd tonight, they had it and they said it's awesome, so it's gonna be yummy. And then on top of that, we've got a half pound of their turkey, and then on top of that, we each have three halves, so one and a half of their sausages. We could have gone with baked beans, potato salad, or coleslaw. We both went with coleslaw, all homemade barbecue sauces, he went with tangy, I went with spicy. So I think we're gonna have him bring out some more squeeze bottles in case we need it. But we've got 45 minutes to finish. If we fail, it's gonna be $50. But if we win, we will get our sandwiches for free, our big ass barbecue sandwiches for free. We will get sweet t-shirts to add to our collection. And we're hoping to become the first two people up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, let's get overall win number 1,013. What are you going for? I think 357. 357, there we go. This is actually my second time here in Mammoth Spring, Arkansas at Shorty's Rib Shack. I was here back in May on my way to Memphis to get win number 1,000. I stopped in for some barbecue and found out that they do have a food challenge here that's undefeated, five attempts, only one person's gotten about uh, three-fourths of the way through. But now, big thank you to Brandon for coming up to join me for this challenge. And then of course, special thanks to the owners. We've got Shorty and his wife, Jewel. Big thank you to them for having us in, but let's just shut up and eat and dominate. So I'll do my best to keep up with Brandon. We will see. One, two, three, boom. All right, I am gonna start off with some sausage. Oh my God, that is freaking good. If the rest of the sandwich is as good as the sausage, this is gonna be a fun night. It might be the sauce too. The sauce is really good. Yeah, tangy sauce is good as well. I'm gonna save some of that to have later. Now let's do the half pound of turkey. <laughs> I'm off to a good pace. I might beat Brandon tonight. That might be some of the best turkey I've ever had as far as smoked barbecue. That and you get Hawaiian bread with it. That, that's a plus right here. Mm -hmm. I wanted Brandon to get potato salad, but he went with coleslaw like I did. Two minutes and 15 seconds in, I am gonna finish off the sauces just to say I'm done with that and the turkey. And then it's brisket time, can't wait. That sausage is stupid good. Yeah, it is. The brisket is very thinly sliced and I am eating it warm still, thankfully. Uh, it is awesome. I just said that turkey was really, really juicy.
I'm not even playing this up. This is really good. And I did have a loaded baked potato when I was here last. It was delicious. So they've got lots of awesome stuff if you don't want to come here to try the challenge. If you can't decide, I re recommend the sampler. I thought I was beating you. What? I didn't actually think that. <laughs> Mammoth Spring, I think, has like 900,000 people, or maybe it's just 900, but we do have lots of people here, which is much appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. Half of them are here today. And definitely no T-Mobile cell phone towers. I am done. He is done too with all the meats other than the pound and a half of pulled pork. And he's already done with his top bun. I gotta get eaten. It's almost like I'm talking too much. Shut up and eat. Yeah. <laughs> They've got a whole bunch of desserts here too that are homemade. We might just have to get one. No milkshakes though for this guy. At my current capabilities, I was worried about this, only having 45 minutes, but all of this food is going right now. I'm gonna make a little burrito out of this uh, pulled pork, and then I'm gonna Tanya Harding his uh, knee so he slows down. Are you you're old enough to know who Nancy Kerrigan is? I'm not good with names anyway. He's older than me, I was just kidding. As long as I know her name, I'm good. How you doing, Brandon? Doing good, doing good. You can definitely tell this bun is very fresh. They either got it this morning or yesterday or something, but it is awesome. <laughs> So, Randy, I'm supposed to tell you that my cousin loves Katina. Oh, I know who. I think I've only beaten you in one thing. It was that pizza in Jefferson City, because I was giving you crap about it, even though I don't think you ate it. Oh, that yeah. Bad. Yeah. Yeah, that was thin, thin. I said, how much did you pay them to make mm. it that thin? I would never do that. That was a good, that was a good pizza. I think I have like half a pound, maybe three quarters of the pulled pork remaining. They gave me a little bit more than Brandon, I think, but we're working through it. When you do challenges back to back though, like he does, just a little rougher. Thank you for that pat on the back, take home trophy. All of the meat on this sandwich and then three-fourths of the pulled pork was amazing. Now I'm ready to be done. Back on my diet till tomorrow. Well, after the dessert. Fifteen and a half minutes in, Brandon is dominating. Let's go, Brandon. Clap for myself. You can. I never know. You're doing a do. great job. But are you enjoying the food? I'm enjoying it. I am. What's been your favorite? Between the turkey and the sausage. That sausage might have it. The sausage is definitely my favorite, but that turkey is probably the best turkey I've ever had at a barbecue restaurant. Not that I order it that many times. Usually, if I'm eating turkey, it's my mom's leftovers. Sixteen forty. 
fair, you're almost downhill with the bread. The bread's easy to get down too. This one actually is a lot better than most breads because it's like real dense that we usually get. But the Hawaiian bread made it easier. Yeah, the bread's usually chewy, but 16 minutes and 40 seconds. Congratulations to Brandon on the, the new, well, the time to beat now, the record. But I must give a special thanks and shout out to him and his girlfriend, Tasha. They were actually passing through Springfield and we were going to eat at Brahms. And then I called him rather than meeting at Brahms. I needed a trip to the hospital and they stayed with me the whole day while I got all the stitches and stuff in my knee and then they helped me pack up the van so I could move half of my apartment to Milwaukee, Wisconsin so that Katina could pretty much unload it. But I appreciate you, Brandon. Hey, no problem. You too, Tasha. Thank you. That was a big help. But now, let's shut up and eat and finish this challenge. Nineteen minutes in. The bottom bun caught some juices and stuff from all the meats. It is delicious. Of course, too, I've got a little bit of the pulled pork on there. If you can't tell, one of their biggest sellers here is right behind us, their nachos. I've seen, I think, like four people here already order it. It is massive. They got a big old menu and everything is good. so I can beat half the time limit, and I am going to. Ah! Yes. I wanted to beat 22 and a half, and I did. 22 minutes and 19 seconds, yes. Thank you guys all for coming and all your support. That was awesome. I'm sure I did finish a little faster because I was trying to keep up with Mr. Champ over here. This is not part of the challenge, but they've got a whole bunch of desserts here. I haven't had any fruits yet for the day, so I wanted to have some of their blackberry cobbler, which has some calcium-filled ice cream on top, so Brandon and I are gonna have a little taste of that. And it is warm, this ice cream is melting. Hot. No doubt. It's very hot. Oh yeah, yeah it's fresh. Mm. Wow. Oh, what are fresh blackberries. Uh, we do one each day. Today we have the blackberry. Yeah. Wow. You want some of I gotta ride home with her. All right. <laughs> I finished enough of that. I am gonna save the rest. But yeah, I cannot say enough about how delicious everything was. They started with that fresh King Hawaiian bun. That was amazing. I love everything on uh, Hawaiian sweet bread. That was delicious. But that sausage starting off with that was incredible. I would say that's the best sausage. I've ever had. <laughs> I wouldn't be laughing if I wasn't sitting next to him, which that sounds even worse. But uh, the turkey, the brisket, the pulled pork, all of that was amazing, along with the coleslaw. So big thank you to Shorty, his wife Jewel, their staff, everybody here with Shorty's Rip Shack in Mammoth Spring, Arkansas. Yes. For me, it was overall win number 1,013. And then what for you? 357. All right, yeah, the new record holder. So great job to Brandon. Thank you. We are each going to get our $50 big ass barbecue sandwiches for free. We will get sweet t-shirts that they're gonna send to us. And we will be the first two people with our names and photos up on the Wall of Fame. So got another burger challenge, a burger patty record challenge coming up tomorrow. It'll be my first challenge attempt in Fayetteville, Arkansas, but thank you guys for watching.